Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be brewing the Ada Batley Selection Cascara. And this is the same coffee that we brewed last week, but it's not the seed. It is the berry itself less the seed. So let's see what happens. Thank you for joining me today. Last week we had a great coffee experience. We roasted, brewed, and tasted the Ada Batley Selection Finca Kilimanjaro Coffee from El Salvador. And this coffee that we had last week was great when we had it, but throughout the week it got better. So in, if you haven't seen that video, check the link here and watch that video. It's very interesting. Half the video is devoted towards talking about the coffee and then showing you highlights from the roast. And specifically, we were watching the color change and the progress of the roast. The rest of the video is on the tasting portion and you can hear our opinions on what we um, experienced with that coffee. So it's really a great coffee. I would highly recommend it. When I ordered that coffee, I also received some samples of her cascara. Now, cascara isn't anything new. It's been around for longer than the coffee, um, roasted coffee bean has been around, according to some sources. This is being used all over the world, specifically in Ethiopia and Yemen, and they're taking basically is the, the berry, and they are steeping this in hot water and mixing it with things like ginger and some other spices, and it's, it's a very common drink over there. I've never had this before, and I wanted to have and share this experience with you. It's something that is available from different coffee sources. If you're buying uh, fresh coffee beans, uh, Sweet Maria occasionally will have this. Um, they're currently out of stock on it, at least today when I looked. And there are other uh, roasteries that occasionally will promote this product. But it's called Cascara, and it basically means the husk or the outside of the coffee um, berry, not necessarily the seed. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to brew this based on the instructions that Ada supplied to us. Before I do that, I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video and just remind you, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would encourage you to do that. That would really help me out. There's a lot of you that watch these videos but haven't subscribed. Please do that. Also, like the video if you get a chance and then hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. So uh, we're going to go ahead and brew this cascara right now and you'll kind of have a view of me doing that. We're using the French press to brew this. Really you can do this in a mug and just pour this in here um, and then just let it steep. Um, the instructions recommend eight minutes. We're going to use 10 ounces of water, um, hot freshly boiled water for eight minutes and then we'll go ahead and pour and give a taste of the cascara. There are several different articles that I read about cascara and one of them was from freshcup.com and they described some of the flavor notes or the tasting notes of a cascara as sweet fruit tasting, notes of rose hip, hibiscus, cherry, red currant, mango, and even tobacco. Some of the spices mentioned to add to this would be nutmeg or ginger or cinnamon and these are being taken out of uh, the type of drinks that are being produced over as I mentioned in the Middle East like Yemen and Ethiopia. So um, the other thing that some people ask about is the caffeine. Caffeine content for the fruit is not as high as the actual seed itself. So you might get uh, freshcup.com quotes the cascara at 111 milligrams uh, compared to 400 to 800 milligrams uh, for a cup of coffee. So it's really quite a bit less. It's a quarter of what the caffeine might be in a regular coffee, at least so it appears.
Okay, the aided bat blade cascara is ready to pour. It's steeped for eight minutes. And wow, it is dark like coffee. That's a surprise. That is a surprise. Smells kind of tea like. This is interesting. Uh, so there's a, definitely a sweetness in this cascara. There is a little bit of a um, tart tanginess in here. So there's a sweetness like honey. Um, so imagine making tea and then adding a little bit of honey. And then there is a um, kind of, a, not a tart, maybe slightly sour um, sensation on the back end of the tongue. That might be a good way to describe it. As far as an aftertaste or a lingering taste, uh, it is tea-like. This reminds me of like an herbal, um, an herbal tea that I would brew. There's something else that's unique about this. There, there is a body to this tea, or this. It's not a tea. This cascara. There is a body to it. It's kind of a silky feeling. I'm really surprised. I was. I'm not a real daredevil when it comes to trying different types of beverages and and foods and things like that um, but this is really enjoyable there's definitely a little bit of a, of a um, tartness like a zing um, sensation as well this looks like coffee and it's almost darker in a sense like a wine you can see some oils. I don't know if you can see that. There are some oils in here. It's just a really interesting experience. As it cools, I'm getting more of the honey. I'm getting more of a little bit of sourness on the back of the tongue. Um, but this is, I think, when I mentioned I'm not real daring with a lot of different beverages, this is really interesting. This is really good. As it's cooling, it's getting even better. There's more of the honey sensation, the little honey sweetness. Uh, there's a more of an aftertaste on the back of the tongue that's smooth. It's, it's definitely not unpleasant at all. It's hard to describe other than if you were to take a, a tea, add some honey to it, and there is a berry, there is the berry fruit um, taste, almost like a whiny taste that's in here. Um, I just wouldn't have expected any of this um, in the way that it poured out. And I had no idea really what to expect, but it's a very pleasant drink. Again, thank you, Ada, for all of this. Thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week in the lab. Have a great day.